Welcome back everyone to another play of Magic the Gathering. Today we are going to be doing some historic matches. So let's jump right into it. I will be using my shrine deck. Somebody mentioned that they would like to see a little bit longer videos, so I will be doing that today. Alright, here we go. So the, uh, the idea I went with on this is... No creatures. Uh, basically, what I will be using to protect my life will be cards like Root Snare. Uh, I also have some destroy cards in here, such as Wrath of God. And this person has a lot of cards in their decks. Let's see, let's go ahead and play this one. I will go ahead and drop this down and I can start out with my first shrine. Oh, what's this? Do we have two shrine players here? Alright, let's uh, go ahead and drop this down. Alright. We'll see if he drops another shrine. Yep, it looks like I'm up against another shrine player. <clears throat> well, this is going to be interesting. Who does it better? for this, so let's go ahead and play Sanctum of All. The King of All Shrine Cards. <clears throat> now I could imagine the reason why they have so many cards in their deck is because their deck is geared towards having four copies of every shrine as well as having some creatures. But that's not how I roll. So let me see, let's let's go ahead and get some draw cards out. Now I do want to play this, but also have room for yeah, I should do that. I should be able to pull that off. So we'll end it. I got four shrines out. He only has two plus a creature. Let's see what he does next. Ah. So he's making this creature stronger. It doesn't matter how strong they are as long as I've got cards like this. That'll keep me safe. So we will we could hit for four. So we can go ahead and take care of that. Well it looks like they gave up. See the problem with having so many cards in a deck is that it's even that much harder to get to those certain cards. Alright. 
we will go ahead and let's do another historic. I will go ahead and switch out my deck. Um, that's what we got to play with. And you guys can kind of check out what I've got here and let me know which uh, deck you want to see me play. Hmm. Now let's try this one. This is another little fun zinky deck that I built called the Ultimate Protection. It's actually kind of interesting build. It's centered around the fact that he won't be able to do any damage to me. There are two cards that is required. Uh, one of them is nine lives. And the other one would be a card that prevents tokens from being placed on. So that's what we want to try to get to. Because nine lives is awesome, the only problem is once it gets a certain amount of tokens, that's usually uh, that's usually the end of it. You lose the game if you get. Let's see. When there's nine on it, it has to be exiled, and then it leaves the battlefield, and I lose the game. But this does have hexproof. The only way for them to destroy it is by a global effect. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this down. I will go ahead and scry too. And we'll go ahead and throw those out. Now the problem with my decks is because some of these requires a lot of uh, combination, that's usually why I tend to lose a lot. But that's fine, I don't care. Because the whole point of this is just to have fun. Alright, let's go ahead and play Blessed Sanctuary, which should let me get a flyer out. And let's he can block with that. And that, so I think I'll go ahead and attack with my Pegasus. Shouldn't be able to kill it off. And I could gain three life back. This is why I wanted to bring that out. I've got these things, these some blockers. All right, let's do this, and then I can play down glorious anthem. And what do we got? Well, he could do yeah, not enough yet. Thanks to my glorious anthem. Alright. Well, this can be interesting how I should address this. If he's going to attack, it's going to leave him open. Now, oh, is this. It is an enchantment. Hmm. 
I think I will take it. Alright, I will play this. And I won't attack. So now if he chooses to attack, I've got two blockers that should deal with him. Unless he somehow increases their toughness. One. He's gonna destroy probably. Yep. Just as I thought. Well, we could go ahead and. Oh no, we shouldn't play nine lives. Can, however, do a double jump block here. Get rid of his uh, creature. I'll wait another turn, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get that one card we need. <clears throat> but if not, we'll go ahead and play nine lives and just hope it works out. So he's gonna attack with just one. No. We'll block. Okay, so we could play this and this. And we could attack her Liliana. Alright, well, I prefer that one to be dead first. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna win, but we'll keep it going. He could attack with four, so that's seven added to my cat. Yeah. That's the game. Okay, I did not expect that. Either way, that's game. Yeah. Well, that was it. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, video. Um, let me know if you guys want these videos to be even longer. Um, or if you want me to be even quieter during the matches. Uh, Alright, well, this was fun. I guess until next time.